tiny bit more rebound damping on. Oh. And it's on camera. Good morning, I'm at Bike Park Wales with Dave from Dialed. Do you want to tell us a bit about what you're going to be doing today? I'm doing a suspension setup here for Alyssa. We are using motion instruments, telemetry equipment to get a suspension all nicely dialed in. People using this kit, Reese Wilson, just world champion, uh, Greg Manar, Miriam Nicole, Tani Seagrave. So what exactly does this do Dave? Because I'm not <clears> gonna lie, I've, I don't know much about this sort of stuff. So this is a position sensor and we're gonna run it in parallel to your shock and then we're gonna calibrate this against the travel of your back wheel. This will measure the position of the shock 200 times every second and from that we know exactly what position your wheel's in but also how quickly it compresses and how quickly it rebounds so we can get everything very precise. I'm looking forward to seeing the results because it's still pretty confusing for me. <laughs> So that's recording continuously all the way down the run in the background. It's crazy. Got our passes on. Now we're going to do some riding. Just done our first run. Um, Dave, like, do you want to say a bit about what's what's going on with my bike? <laughs> yeah, first run done. Uh, we're mostly looking at this point of the, the average axle position, sort of like a, a dynamic sag measurement. And what we've got on Alyssa's bike is the, the fork's not sitting too bad, but the, the rear's sitting way deeper into the travel than the fork. And it's also evident straight away that her rebound speed on the rear is way slower than the front, a lot slower. Not going to change anything on the rebound settings because we're going to add a load of air into this shock and the extra air pressure is going to probably speed up the rebound anyway. So we're going to get some air in there and go for another run. Just at the top, going to do another run. No idea what Dave's doing, but hopefully it'll do good. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Keep going with this stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> there's something to be said for that, but yeah, it feels a lot more bouncier. Yeah. Which obviously before it was just flat. Yeah, the back end was dead before. It was like just all splattered out and rebounding so slow. Yeah, it's only get better, isn't it? Yeah. At least it felt like it was working then. Yeah. Almost the point of being like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we will probably find that we get to a point where it feels worse and then we go back. Yeah. So don't be afraid to say that's got worse. But it, it will feel different and feel more lively. Like when things are right, you'll find it wants to pop out of the corners and yeah. jump in and be easier.
what we notice on Alyssa's bike is it's, it's not really using all of the travel on the fork, which usually suggests that we could take a volume spacer out to reduce the ramble. There's none in there. And this is quite often the problem when you've got a very light rider, is ideally we'd want to increase the volume, but we haven't got the option. Checking the data through. We have just <laughs> a tiny bit more rebound down for now. Just got the uplift up, we're going to do roots manoeuvre, hopefully you can see it. Next, uh, what are we doing this time Dave, we're we going to check. We have got three clicks more rebound damping on the fork and an extra few PSI in it. So we'll see now how it feels, we'll uh, update you in a minute. I love I'm that. so glad that I did that last weekend. Really, yeah. To feel the difference now. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. I was ping ponging down there last weekend. Yeah. Like so bad that I got to this point. I was like, ah, like this is horrible. <laughs> and then I've just gone down there and enjoyed, enjoyed it. Like, because hey. the bike, it just feels like I'm not doing all the work. Yeah. Which? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's on camera. <laughs> I suggest not. So we've just done a lap. Um, now we're back at the top again. We haven't done any more fine tuning, have we? Just sorting out the battery. Gonna do, that's probably gonna be our last lap, isn't it? Which kind of sucks. But the bike is feeling so much better. Um, Dave, do you have anything to add? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good save! <laughs> Why did you think you were like, fine and then you stopped for some reason. Yep, you're not in a good place with it. Ah! Mm. like the suspension's changed and just the feel of the bike getting down the trails absolutely like just yeah so impressed um dave what like do you want to give a little rundown of, like what you've done to cut a long story short based on looking at the data each run we've ended up with more pressure in the fork to give it more support we slowed the rebound down a little bit though to make it balance with the rear uh, we put way more pressure in the rear shock to make the back end more lively uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the wrap, guys. Um. <laughs>